Hi there, Brian Maravich here with LeadStampede.com. In the first video, I showed you how to use a grabber to enhance response to your prospecting or lead generation efforts. Uh, in that first video, I showed you an actual example of a letter that you could use for prospecting. In other words, pre-approach letters if you're going after appointments. And also, you can use it and tweak it for lead generation where somebody uh, sends in a return reply response, for example, or calls a recorded message and things of that nature. So you can use that letter in that first video for just about uh, anything when it comes to uh, lead generation or prospecting. Um, but the main example I wanted to show you was how to use a grabber, meaning something that um, grabs the reader's attention and gets them to want to read the, the letter uh, and therefore improving your response rate. So uh, that was just a short recap of that first video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that same grabber and once again, you can use any grabber. As I explained in the first video, you can use things like uh, fake money, coins, band-aids, giant paper clips, anything you can think of. Uh, and the main key here is to tie in your grabber with your offer. So you don't want to just throw in any old grabber just for the sake of uh, somebody opening the envelope and then getting them to read your letter. It's got to tie in with your offer. So uh, in this example, I wanted to show you how to use a pre-approach letter to referred leads. So uh, this is going to tie in directly with the other video that you may or may not have seen yet where I show you how to get referred leads, bunches of them, and you can literally start getting referred leads instantly. So you should watch that video. If you haven't yet, um, it's coming or you can check the uh, blog or on YouTube for that video. So let me read this letter to you and we'll break it down just a little bit. So we use the grabber, it's a jeweler's loop, and let me begin. Dear name, so this is going to be the actual prospect's name. Um, you have to use a real name. You don't have to, you should, because uh, if it says dear friend or something like that, it's going to indicate that you don't know who they are, so I'm trying to sell you something. So you want to personalize it. I am writing you because your friend and business associate, Mrs. Name, said that you might be interested in my wealth engineering program. So I used wealth engineering. You can use any uh, description of what you do here. But first, let me explain why I, I enclosed a name of grabber. In this case, it's a jeweler's loop to this letter. Or why I attached a jeweler's loop is used to identify and help assess the value of a stone. The exceptional magnification of a jeweler's loop can reveal internal flaws and surface blemishes on exotic stones that are not apparent to the naked, untrained eye. I take the same approach to helping clients like Mrs. Name and their wealth building goals. My unique name of program, so you'd put that there, wealth engineering program will help you, and then here's where you describe your benefit. And then I give you an example, build wealth by deeply analyzing and arranging your finances using a personally tailored approach, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if you want to get another example of how to close this letter, you can go back to that first video and uh, tweak it a little bit and, and apply it here. So that's this letter in a nutshell. And this letter is a pre-approach letter to referred leads. Uh, you might want to try it out and use it in, in conjunction with the other video which shows you how to get those referred leads and I'm talking about a whole bunch of them instantly. I use that same technique that I explained in the video to get 15 referred leads in just a few minutes and then uh, you can literally do that over and over uh, within a week's period of time you could have dozens of leads. So I look forward to hearing how you use this video to your advantage and let me know if it works for you what you think of it go to leadstampede.com forward slash blog